Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maximum Render Hot Tips. My name is James Common and I'm a Maximum Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology. In today's episode I'll be looking at the Scale Scene tool. Here is the scene that I'll be working with today, and you may recognise it from a previous episode of What Not To Render. And in What Not To Render I was highlighting the importance of making sure that you are modelling to the correct scale. You are modelling in the scale which you will eventually use. And this was the example of what happens when you model objects which are smaller than the scale you actually need. As you can see in the Fire Interactive Preview, there's an awful lot of depth of field in this scene. The objects which are quite far away from the camera are blurrier than you would normally expect them in an image of this type. And if we have the shopping cart selected, and we have our info displaying by going to Display Info and making sure the checkbox is enabled, we can see that the Y bounding box is 0.085. So this is the height of the shopping cart and this is always in meters. So Maxwell is telling us that this shopping cart is 85 millimeters tall. Now although this shopping cart hasn't been modeled to scale, there is a way in Maxwell Studio to get around this. And it's found in the edit menu and it's called scale scene. Click on this and it'll open up a little dialog box with just one option. What is the new scale? Or if I enlarge the box here you can see it actually says scale factor. Now I'm just going to enter 10 and press enter and Maxwell Studio will ask me if I want to scale the cameras as well. If you select no, all the objects will increase in scale but the cameras will stay where they are. Doing this will lose your view. So I'm going to select yes, I do want to scale the cameras with the scene. And I can double check by going to my info that the Y bounding box is now 0.85 meters. So now the shopping cart is 854 millimeters tall, which sounds a lot more accurate than 85. So that's your Maxwell Render hot tip for today. In the worst case scenario where you have a model which is in the wrong scale, don't worry too much, you can go to edit and scale scene. And it can save the day. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and the others on my channel. If you'd like to come down to the University of Brighton and have hands on experience with Maxwell Render training, send me an email at maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com or tweet me at jcolman underscore design. Thanks very much, I'll see you again soon.